Hello and welcome to Round 3 Frontline Action of the 8th Annual Spartanburg Spring Fling at the Woodruff Leisure Center, brought to you by the Hub City Disc Golf Club. In catch cam today we have Michael Bowman. Drone footage courtesy of Val at Cinco. Commentary team is Owen Camp and Vern Wyant. On the card today we have Zach Wysocki from Campobello, South Carolina. Hartford Burley from Taylor, South Carolina. Evan Rogers from Simpsonville, South Carolina. And Lance Harden from Easley, South Carolina. Hole one is a short but treacherous shot. Par three, turn 60 feet through the trees and over the creek. Plus the creek is OB to the right hand side as well. You're going to see a lot of stable flex forehand shots as these players try to make their way to the basket. All right, different course here. Woodruff, Zach coming off the tee on hole one, and not a kick that you want. Mm. You know, completely different thinking from yesterday out on the course, right? Mm -hmm. That, you know, Tiger's more open, you got a lot of wind, uh, attacking par fours and, and things of that nature. And we've got the shorter, more technical Woodruff today. So gotta gotta change the thinking, gotta be good at both parts of the game. So nice little forehand there from Hart. It'll be a little left, but it'll leave him with a putt. Yeah, I don't imagine we're gonna see a lot of drivers today. You know, playing a uh, playing short tees for the most part today. Um, the longer tee, I feel like this one is a lot easier than the short tee. This is a very specific line. I'll disagree with you there. I definitely uh, well, maybe you know, if you've got the shot for this one, right, that force over forehand. Yeah. This hole is really simple and really easy. Oh, okay. And Evan Evan shows you there. I mean, he had that nice force over forehand. Mm -hmm. It's gonna let the disc come back out of it uh, and come back to the basket. And the new face on the card is Lance here. So excited to see him play. Looks like he's going to go with that forehand force over there. Maybe a little wide. Maybe trusted that disc to turn too much. It's going to be over there to the right, but it doesn't look like he's going to be OB. Maybe not surrounded by water over there. Yeah, Zach was 100% surrounded by water here. That's that's a tough life from down there. Not only are you, he's you know, short, uh, of where the basket's actually at, you know, uh, height-wise. So you can't really see the basket from where they're at. So they're yeah. going on what they've seen previously and, and trying to pitch up there and miss some of those trees. Yeah. That was a great out by Lance there. Yeah. Rio Hart, good putt to start. Oh, that was just a little short on the putt. Still a good putt stroke, though. I mean, yeah. it, it wasn't shaky out of the hand. He had a nice one to start the round. I think that's what you want going into the final round here. Lance, after his pitch out, try to clean up his par. Oh, and that was in and out. Uh, he was, I mean, he was a little low left. But I yeah. feel like that one should have stuck. Yeah, I agree. That was dirty by the basket. Hard taking some lumps on hole one here. Yeah, I mean, Woodruff shown its teeth. Zach found the OB over there and mm -hmm. takes a bogey to start the round to even some things up here with a few of the folks, right? Yeah. So... Hole two, par three, 244 feet. Uh, common play here, I think, is the, is the forehand flex. Uh, you'll see some backhand turnovers as well, but the backhand turnover has to miss a couple of these trees coming in. And you can't quite see the basket here, so it's a little blind, which can make it a little tricky sometimes. Sometimes you can see the basket. Mm -hmm. It's a little easier to get in the motion and, and see it and, and point and shoot. So this one can be a little tougher just because you can't see it. And then with a big flex on it, hoping it was going to come back and shaking his head a little bit. He knows it was it was a little left. Seems like it probably hit a tree over yeah, there as well. Took a nasty kick left. Um, you see those two trees in the middle of the fairway there. I mean, those are they're not side by side. Oh, they they kind of look at on the on the coverage here. The smaller ones over to the left. Yeah. 
Yeah. Those are definitely a little little outside the line over there to the left. I think you want to be flexing on the inside of that big tree on the right. Mm -hmm. Part hit the line, but it just kept on going down the road there. You see it up there towards the top. Should still be a putt. I mean, anything, it's 244, so anything kind of, you know, 200 feet and pass is going to have a putt somewhere up there. Only OB here is the is the main road over to the right. Mm -hmm. So anywhere up there is, is putting and good. Zach's going to try to bounce back from the bogey he had. We'll turn over. Good tree there. Knocks him right back to the basket. He'll like that. And, I mean, we were talking last hole. We're, we're evened up between three of them right now. Yeah. Zach, Hart, and Evan all tied up right here going into hole two. So it's it's anybody's game just like that after yeah. the first hole. Lance has got the right idea. That was that was on the inside yep, line. Yep. Gave the basket a little run even. Made the catch cam guy turn around. Mm -hmm. Coming in hot. Yeah, Evan ended up here on the upper shelf on wow. the left-hand side. He, he was... did get a pretty big kick off that tree piece up here on the upper shelf. Oh, nicely done. Hart is not in the spot that you want to be. He ended up going to the left-hand side. He's trying to do something with the berg here. Lots of trees to avoid and just a terrible stance under yeah, this. one of those where you, you really... Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing putt. He pulled some voodoo magic out and found a line somewhere in there. I thought it that looked like he was just pitching out to underneath the basket. Yeah. Of course, it's just a flex berg putt. I mean, who wouldn't have thought of that? That was amazing. Oh, Lance giving that a, a good run. Yeah. A good run after probably the, the best looking drive, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. uh, Zach's pretty close too, but he's got a nice little kick back towards the basket. So I'd say Lance kind of had the, the best intended line, but just a little too far. There you go. Evan cleaning up his par. Yeah, Evan was not in a great spot. That could have gone south pretty quickly. Zach's feeling good, getting mm -hmm. his lead back. We can't quite breathe yet out here. You know, Woodruff, anybody can birdie any hole, so. Yeah. Hole three, par three, 289 feet. Um, simply put, you want to follow the road up here to the basket. There's um, places you don't want to be to the right hand side but if you just throw a stock hyzer for these guys maybe with a mid-range or a skippy driver um, that's that will send you the place you want to be important here is is hitting that road when you land with your disc yeah. that your know, field of grass over on the right I think especially this weekend was was pretty long so you want to get that disc to go left and left quick because you got to avoid that grass it's really grabby it's looking a little wide right from heart. It's going to land out there in that field. Mm -hmm. This is a justice from Zach. I like that dish choice. It's going to get back left quick. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe powered it a little too straight. Again, that sticky grass got him. Yeah, this one's tough. You can see that there's uh, a couple trees there on the left, but also like a, a shorter bushy tree yeah, yeah. there. And that's really where you want to throw this to try to yep. get that low skip along the road. So you're forced to go over it and a little wide, just like Evan's doing just over that bush. That's going to end up great, I think, here. Yeah, he's going to hit that road and skip yeah. left. I mean, it got a little bit of a straight skip, and that's what you want. It's just so tough right there around that bushy mm -hmm. tree. I mean, you saw Evan crouching down after he yeah. threw it. He knew it was going to be close. Lance on a smooth shot out there. Needs a little... Okay, he hit a little bit of the short grass near the edge. He'll have a putt there from the road. Yeah. It's probably 25 to the road there, so... Oh. Zach didn't, didn't quite commit to that putt as much as he wanted to.
Oh, heart just a little too high hit the band, I think. Yeah. Plants with a little step out. He's got that one tree to contend with. Man. I, I got to feel like that branch that was hanging down kind of kind of got him a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. That, that little leaf he hit might have affected it. A little too high on that, that one. Is that band magnetized to these discs <laughs> or something? I mean, that's, what, three, three in a row? Just yeah. about that hit that? Zach with his comebacker. After his putt from the field. Solid. Yeah, that's good. Everybody's cleaning up pretty well here. No one makes any solid movement. All, all four, this is a, a fun one. Par three, 282 feet. You can kind of see the intended gap here that the drone's flying down. A little bit of a turnover. It's got to come back. It's it's a really strange angle. So you'll see, I think, popular plays here. It's like a backhand flip-up shot that goes down or a forehand force over going, going you know, straight and then dumping left. Mm -hmm. See, Hart's going for that dumping left turnover forehand. That looks on a great angle, and it's down at the bottom of the hill. Any putt here is a great putt. Yeah. If you can get down there on the flat somewhere around the circle, you've got an honest bid. Yeah, I mean, if you're... I, I think if I'm normally inside, like, 50 here, I'm normally, <laughs> you know, ecstatic with the drive, so... Yep. Oh, that's a great shot from Zach. Mm-hmm. And the touch that he exhibited on that shot, too, I mean, just super smooth. Looks like Evan's going to go with that force over forehand. Gonna fade out a little bit. That's well. Though it's all past the trees, so it's an open putt. It's mm -hmm. great. His glance is gonna want to go for that forehand turnover as well. Lance throws a lot of clash discs. I'm not as familiar with those. We'll get. The that's yeah. what you want out of that forehand. He hit the gap that Hart over here and, and Evan did quite. They're both mm -hmm. faded out way over right here, and Lance hit that gap as intended. Let's see if he can connect on this putt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's how you play it the, on the forehand line, and Zach's shown us how to play it on the backhand line. I think he's still inside there and going to have a, an easy putt there. Yeah. Yep, just like that. Moving on again. Yeah, normally hole four averages, uh, it's one of the tougher holes on the course. It's like the fifth hardest today, mm -hmm. probably just because we saw two birdies yeah. <laughs> on the hole. But uh, average 3.08, or five birdies on the day. Hmm. Five of 25 players, so. You're know, playing the hole like these guys did, and I would assume as most of MA1 did. Um, the, the creek behind doesn't really come into play. Hole 5, par 3, 190 feet. Um, you got to get through the gap and beat these trees up to the basket. Um, it's There's either a straight shot or an any shot or a hyzer shot. It's kind of take your pick, but it's got to beat these first three trees here. There's a lot of different approaches here. Zach gets a little kiss off that tree. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Got a little tree love and is parked. And it just nicked that 
center mm -hmm. tree. So many things you can do in this hole, but so many things that can go wrong. Yeah, yeah, so many things to do and so many things to do wrong. It's those trees too you hit early mm, yeah. and you hit early and you're fighting you know an uphill battle the whole way with more trees to contend with and and that slope right there in front of the basket makes for some nasty rollaways and oh, yeah. tough up shots yeah at least if you rifle it down the left or right hand gap here you're doing pretty good but if you hit a tree as oh, and i got lucky there for a while i think yeah. work got Probably a little bit more love there than he deserved, and he's smiling. I think he, he knows, and he's got a an up and down over there as an option. And just wanting to squeak it just right of that tree. Oh, man. Caught a late one, but I think he's still going to have a... It looks like he's on that second shelf, so yeah, he's probably yeah. going to have a putt. Little step out patent pending shot here from Hart. It's gonna be good. Lance kind of way over here to the left. Oh Ooh. my goodness, he gave that a a good bid from over there. Mm -hmm. Good putt. You can't really see it from this angle, but it can be kind of a nervy putt because you're staring straight downhill when you're putting from where Evan just did. Yeah, immediately to the right of this camera angle, so steep <laughs> hill, so. Zach will catch the other birdie. Hole six, par three, 154 feet, so a, a, a little short hole here. It's a little pitch around here to the left. It could be a little bit of a tricky angle though. It's not really a stock backhand hyzer. It's almost more of a flip up hyzer. Or uh, you'll see maybe some of these guys go with a little forehand flex shot. Mm. It's a great shot from Zach. It was a little wide. It looked like it maybe got a little kick off of some of those uh, tree limbs, but came back left and, and he's going to give him a good putt. Lance giving that a little bit of height. Hit one of those trees. He, if he'd missed that, he might have been parked. Yeah. But he still got a good putt at it. You know, this hole seems so simple and so easy. And out there today, it averaged 2.72. So wow. a lot of pars, but not a whole lot of birdies. It's third easiest on the course so not quite the easiest but there's so many so many problems you can have on this hole if you go too hard at it and you hit one of those you know you get locked up in jail on the right hand side those guardian trees can kick you away take away that birdie yeah that's what you want Evan hit the, the right line there just a little bit more inside he got a good roll there too mm -hmm. but I think that whatever he hit on the ground I think he hit a root kind of jumped him straight up it's a little left and early here. Oh, that was a great spin. Just like we saw from him on, on hole two yeah. with that long putt. That one was from a knee too. So <laughs> watch out for Hart's knee putts. Those things, those things are nasty. There it is. Evan staying in the mix. Yep. Good birdie to keep him, keep him fighting and keep him within striking distance of of Zach and and Hart here trying to catch up to Hart as well. 
Another birdie from Zach. Yeah, Zach's wanting to put his foot down at this point, right? He's mm -hmm. got a, a yep. two-stroke lead. He needs to kind of increase that and get himself comfortable on the back nine. Hole seven, par three, turn 64 feet. This is one of the tougher shots on the course here. It's straight to the basket, but there's a lot of trees to contend with on the left and the right-hand side. Kind of a tunnel, but also there's a little bit of open space here and there. It's just trouble until you get all the way into the chains. It's like Zach's still in one of the judge throwing putters he's got in the back. Mm -hmm. I think that's a judge, at least it's either that one or the white one. Well, uh, that's a popular miss. You've got this one tree on the right, kind mm -hmm. of center of your screen here, yep. um, and it makes you just think about it enough where you can't throw a straight shot. You yeah. kind of have to throw a little over, a little flex angle on the, the right-hand backhand. This hole definitely makes you take a pause and you step up to the tee. Yep. He almost got away with it. You know, from a course design perspective, too, I, I think this is genius. I love having a super easy hole like six followed up by a nail biter like this one. Nobody's counting this one on there. I'm going to get that list. No, absolutely not. I think it's a great hole, too, because I don't even necessarily think this is like a bonus birdie. I think for a lot of folks, it's right there in front of them, right? They, mm -hmm. they have the, the shot available. It's it's a straight shot. It seems really simple. So it's it's not you know difficult because it's really long and they can't quite reach it. It's not difficult because it's a, a, you know, a shot they maybe don't have in the bag. It's a right-hand yeah. turn or a left-hand turn, depending on the player. But it's straight shot, but it's, it's difficult enough that it gives gives a lot of people trouble. Everybody on the tee had trouble with this one. You're going to see uh... Rico out there on the bag again. Yep. Taking a stroll through the woods. Unfortunately, Lance, uh, he had to take a left turn there because he's kicked almost to eight's tee pad. Oh, yeah. And if you're not on the fairway here, it's not an easy upshot from, from wherever you're at. Left, right. Zach's going to try to find some room over here, play a little skip shot, but it, you know, his doesn't even get all the way up there. Yeah, you got trapped in one of those last guardian trees. It, if you're not, you know, hitting a tree and kicking straight down on the fairway, it, it's tough. It's solid by hard. Yeah, played that skip nicely. See Evans over here and struggle to try to get out. Great shot. Yeah. Evan leaked a little far to the right-hand side of the fairway, closer to that, uh, there's an OB fence on the right-hand side, but... Yeah, that thing rarely comes into play, but if you're leaking past the basket, it can. Mm-hmm. A lot of long putts here from Lance and Zach. Yeah, Zach's gonna... Zach's gonna leak one stroke back out here, and he's not gonna get up and down and give, uh... Hart and Evan a chance to, to make one up. Make this interesting. Zach really wants to make this comebacker here. Doesn't want to turn this into a big number. Yeah. There we go. And got his composure a little bit. He's probably just thinking he needs to take a deep breath right now and, and get back to putting the pedal down. Having a tester putt on this hole is just insult to injury. There we go. And Evan gets one back on Zach there, just cleaning up his par. 
Art's going to try to do the same. Good par. Yeah. Art and Evan are now back within two. Hole eight, par three, 253 feet. It's a little downhill, so probably plays a little less than that. Uh, popular play here is, is a backhand turnover going down the hill. You also see a fair amount of forehands trying to miss a couple of these trees and leaking right. These last couple of trees are, are guardians and ones that you can't really plan on. You're, you're hoping to, to go inside of them, uh, but you're really looking at this this first gap. Pretty sure this is a challenger ss from him yeah that's got a nice good flip to it that's got to be an ss and it hit just that one in the center yeah. that's further down he wants a little bit more turn or a little less turn mm -hmm. and it misses it evan and hart both thinking birdie they need to make up some strokes on zach or going into the back nine get themselves in the mix a bit more turn. Just misses that tree wow. and kind of leaks down yep, the yep. slopes. It's it's so fun sometimes to watch some of these. And what's great about having the catch cam too, holes like this where it's blind down near mm -hmm. the, the basket. You don't always see what these discs do. So it's difficult to distinguish a good shot from a bad shot sometimes. Zach's just hoping that misses stuff, but there's a little left out of his hand. Lance a little more turn than he wants, but there's an inside line there, and he's yeah. going to make it all the way down with the putt. He got through a lot of stuff there. Zach got caught up early. Wants to pitch this up there. Ooh, up shot goes a little long. He's going to have a tester putt coming back. Mm -hmm. Opportunity here for Evan and Hart to try to make some of these putts from short. Evan knew it when it left his hand. He was... Not happy with that one. Lance is going to go from over here, way right. Just caught a limb there on his putt. Zach's going to have a, a comebacker to make from back here. Oh, that's a great putt from mm -hmm. Zach to, to stop the bleeding a little bit. If, and it's a good putt from Hart here. Try and get one back. And he, he does. gets it. Yep. He has a great putt from Zach. Um, that could have gotten really bad really fast. And he just slowed down, took a deep breath, took his time, and was good to go. Good solid putt there. Yeah, good putt from Evan to keep himself in the mix, keep himself within striking distance. On back nine coming up, you're thinking about the turn, you're thinking about I'm halfway through the round. Got to get close. Hole nine, par three, 272 feet. Um, this is a shot like you've seen on other holes here, but the basket's on the slope up here and you got to worry about the creek. Also, you got a pretty low ceiling here. Yeah, low ceiling because it's so downhill. Hart kind of throws it flat and and gets through that ceiling most of the way. Yeah, that's an he, old school meteor, and he just, yeah, he got away with something there. He knew it, too, that, that look on his face. He, he knew he got away with missing some of those limbs and, and getting all the way up there. And Evan's going with this forehand, and that's really, it's much easier to keep that shot lower. Mm -hmm. um, so he's throwing that forehand to try and stay below that ceiling, and, and maybe it's stabled up a little too quick on him, but... If you can hit that, that patch of dirt below the basket and skip up at it. Yep, one of those holes where your ideal landing spot is 15 feet in front of the basket. Mm -hmm. Well, Zach, you're, you're leading the tournament right now. That's what you're doing. <laughs> he, he left it a little left, but uh, it seems like it's at least not going to go in the OB Creek and he'll be able to get up and down for a three. Yeah.
Good stop, Lance. Good stop. Get through that stuff. Yeah, it kind of gets right there on the side. Yeah, not OB, um, but kind of a tough spot. Yeah, the basket's actually like forward and then almost 90 degree left around this tree corner that he's looking at. So I think he's just trying to pitch around and get to a putt. Yep. I like he'll do that. Lance looks like he's just stayed in bounds next to this creek. Evan may be going for a scooper again. Yep, that'll do. Zach to save his par. There we go. Yeah, that, that one could have gotten really rough from where Zach was at. That was a very good save. Yeah, fortunate he stayed in bounds as well and, and had that line up through and the smarts to, to pitch up and around and just take his 20-foot putt there. Mm -hmm. And an important putt coming up here from Hart just to, to get one more stroke back on Zach and tie it up going into the back nine. See if he can convert, put some pressure going into the next nine holes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Got it. We've got a fight. We've got a tie going back into the back nine here. All right, after nine holes on round three, we have got a tie at the top here. Zach Wysocki and Art Burley at 23 down. Evan Rogers is still there. Lance Pardon and Hunter Bowman sneaking back into it at 18 down. We'll see you on the back nine.